In this video, we'll talk about the strength of different diabetes medications. But before we go on, I would like to say that the strengths here are for type 2 diabetes. If you take if you have type 1 diabetes, then most of this medication will not work for you or will not work much for you, uh, and you will need to take insulin. Why is it important to know which diabetes medication are stronger? I will show you with two examples. Uh, in the first example, this person has an A1C of 9, and uh, the target for A1C is less than 7, so which medication should I take? If you do not know what is A1C, then please go to hmf-diabetes.com and look it up. In this first example, probably I would like to use, if I use only one medication, probably I would like to use something that can reduce A1C by at least two points. And in the second example, uh, the A1C is 7.5 and the target is still less than 7. So which medication should I take? And in the second example, probably you would like to use some less strong medication because if you use a strong medication, you will either overshoot and cause low blood sugar and also stronger medication tend to cause stronger side effects. So this person may suffer from stronger side effects without much additional benefit. So you do not want to undershoot and you do not want to overshoot. That's why it's important to know the strength of different types of diabetes medications. So here I give you a list of diabetes medication and their strength. In the first column, it is a strength. Here I'm talking about the strength when you take the maximal dose or a very high dose of the medication. If you take a lower dose, then the strength will be less. For example, the medication Ozempic comes in multiple different doses. 0 0.25 milligram every week, 0 0.5 milligram every week, and 1 milligram every week. Here, the strength, I'm talking about the strength of the maximal dose, 1 milligram of Ozempic. The three plus signs means this type of medication is very strong. What do I mean by very strong? It can reduce A1C by more than two points on average, which translates to a reduction of blood sugar above 60 milligram per deciliter on average. And two plus signs means this medication or this type of medication is fairly strong. What do I mean by fairly strong? It can reduce A1C by 1 to 2 points on average, which translates to a reduction of blood sugar by 30 to 60 milligram per deciliter on average. Whenever there is a brand name I put the generic name inside the brackets. So I will pause for a few seconds and you can carefully look at this table. And the list goes on. Again, two plus signs means this type of medication is fairly strong which translates to A1C reduction of 1 to 2 points and the blood sugar reduction of 30 to 60 milligram per deciliter. And one plus sign means this type of medication is moderate. What do I mean by moderate? It reduces A1C by 0 0.5 to 1 points on average, which translates to a blood sugar reduction between 15 to 30 milligram per deciliter on average. And again, if the medication has a brand name, I will put the generic name inside the brackets. And again, I would like to emphasize that we're talking about the strength 
of those medications for type 2 diabetes. If you have type 1 diabetes, then most of those medications will not work very well for you, and you will need to take insulin. I will pause for a few seconds so you can look at this table carefully.